my gosh. I really, really underestimated the sun. <gasps> and also maybe it ties into my identity as a West Virginian, right? Because my family, um, we are, we're coal miners. I've been thinking about this all throughout Mexico. I haven't talked about it in a video yet because I haven't quite figured out how to voice it. Harper, what do you think about Costa Rica so far? Hey guys. I am here in San Jose. This is the National Theater, Teatro Nacional. And I am gonna be exploring the city today. Um, Jesse and Harper opted out of the sightseeing in order to go to the pool at the apartment complex. So they are gonna be swimming and playing. And I am gonna be wandering and exploring. I got an Uber here. Uh, the guy was from Venezuela and we actually talked to each other like two or three sentences. I was really proud. I told him I live in Mexico. Um, I know that he's from Venezuela. We talked a little bit about the food. Very happy. All right, let's go see what cool stuff we can find here. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, I really, really underestimated the sun. It's almost December and it's really intense. I should have worn sunscreen. I gonna get burnt. Ooh.
It's sunny, and I just found cold coconuts. Pipa fria. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go back and get seven. Mm. Oh my gosh. I finished drinking my coconut. <sighs> I am so happy right now. Um, I was getting so thirsty and just parched and that just hit the spot. Um, Costa Rica so far, wow, really pretty. The sky is so incredibly blue and there are these big white fluffy clouds and all this tropical foliage, so pretty. Uh, I know that San Jose is not the place where people usually spend a lot of time when they come to Costa Rica, but we booked a week here um, because this is actually one of the cities that we were considering moving to initially. So we wanted to check it out and give it a, enough time to, you know, to really, to not have to like rush to see things. So, we are here for a week. I've just been exploring. I just got a text from Jesse saying they that he and Harper are having a blast at the pool. Um, Harper says we should just stay here forever. <laughs> you know, three-year-olds can sometimes be the most impossible people to please, and sometimes they are the easiest people to please. Um, airports, no bueno, pool. Let's stay here forever. <laughs> so I'm sitting on this street. It's like a little pedestrian street and there are these beautiful murals um, right behind the camera. I'll show you in just a second. And yeah, it's really pretty. So something Jesse and I were talking about at breakfast is that it's funny to have spent six months like adapting to Mexico and starting to learn Spanish and all that stuff and then you come to Costa Rica and it's like it's the same and it's not the same, right? So you have to get used to all the little differences in phrasing and the fact that crema is called natilla here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but I'm trying. Yeah, so a lot to get used to. Breakfast I, was so huge and amazing. I probably will not eat lunch. I'm gonna go into this museum if it's opened. I've tried to go into two museums so far and they've both been closed, so we're gonna see if the third time is the charm. Um, yeah, there's a nice breeze, it's hot. It's sunny, it's December. I can't imagine what it's like in the summer. Um, but when the breeze blows and when you've got a cold coconut to drink, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad life, I gotta say. All right, let's check out this museum. Hey guys, I am out of the museum. It was really nice. It was really a nice museum. But it is interesting, the thing that I was thinking about most as I was walking through the exhibits was, you know, back in the States, if I were to visit a history museum, a national history museum, I would identify with the colonists, with the idea of being, um, of people committed to independence and freedom and personal liberty and all that stuff and like overthrow the oppressive British which is kind of funny because genetically speaking I am like 86% British. 
British. <laughs> and I don't know all of my family history, but I'm pretty sure we were not freedom fighters. But somehow I identify with that, and maybe part of it is, you know, that's the national identity, right? That you're taught from a very young age, like, this is who you are, these are your people, this is your country. That's your identity as a United States citizen. And also maybe it ties into my identity as a West Virginian, right? Because my family, um, we are, we're coal miners, you know, we're union people. <laughs> we're not rich, we're not the owners of things. We are the workers. Um, and so that, like, pride in being the scrappy underdog, like, Hola. that is very much part of my Hi. identity. I identify with the workers. I identify with the oppressed. And, and now I'm here. And I've been thinking about this all throughout Mexico. I haven't talked about it in a video yet because I haven't quite figured out how to voice it. But I am not the oppressed here. I am not the underdog. And walking through these museums and looking at, uh, looking at the information and artifacts from European expansion into the Americas, my place in that story is with the oppressor. Okay, so I, individually speaking, have not, as far as I know, oppressed anyone. However, that is where I fit in the story. My people were the ones doing the oppressing. And no, I'm not Spanish. I'm not Portuguese. Obviously, there's a lot more to the history than what I'm saying. However, I'm European. And that puts me in the line of the people who came here and devastated the native population. And did a lot of horrible things. And okay, that was a long time ago, yes. I was not alive then, yes. Um, but now I walk through these places as a United States citizen and where you see representations of the United States. The United States means power, money, military, and again, not the underdog. And, and we can get into a debate over whether the United States is oppressing anybody, but we cannot disagree that the United States is not the underdog. We are not. And it was interesting because, you know, I knew coming here that Costa Rica does not have an army. They abolished their army in 1948. What I didn't realize is that part of the reason, not the only reason, I don't even know, you know, how much of a part of the reason it is, but part of the reason was um, to secure support from the United States, which just struck me as really ironic that my country would make a support of Costa Rica contingent on their abolishing their military when my country prides itself on the strength of its own military. Um, my country is the only country in the world to have deployed nuclear weapons on people. Yeah, so this is, this is quite heavy for me. This is a lot to think about. I think back in the States, it's really, really easy to ignore this part of my identity um, because in the States, I'm not powerful or rich or significant in any way. And so I can really like cling to my identity as this 
scrappy little West Virginian union girl. Um, and here I have to confront the fact that on a global scale, I am wealthy. I'm really wealthy. And I do have a lot of power. My passport gives me privileges that other people may not have. My bank account gives me a lot of privileges. My skin color gives me privileges. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. And, and I think we need to start having conversations about colonization, the effects of it, and how that plays a role in our identities today. Just full of questions and thoughts and reckonings. I think I'm gonna head to a grocery store now. I don't know how to transition out of that. No idea. So yeah, gonna go do that. Food. Uh, it looks like some what? rain is coming. What on camera? This, I almost got daddy almost tripping on camera. Hi, Jesse. Look at that cloud over there. That cloud looks like a dragon dragon face. It looks like a dragon face? Right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With no eyes. Harper, what do you think about Costa Rica so far? Uh, well, I like my present too. Oh yes, the Airbnb host left you a present. That's so nice.